last week Greensock tweeted about this site from Rebellion and I was instantly captivated by this mouse follower. You'll notice that as I move my mouse, it cycles through a series of logos, okay? When you get to the end of the list, it just takes the next one that is available, all right? And you'll see that they show up for a brief amount of time and then drop off and fade out. What I especially liked was the sort of inertia or momentum that's maintained when you throw, okay? There's this really nice gliding that happens. And it's something that, quite honestly, I was a bit stumped on and still remain stumped on. Another important feature is that there's sort of a mouse movement tolerance, which means that if I move slowly, I have to move a certain number of pixels before the next logo shows up, all right? It's not a constant regeneration of elements. And if I don't move at all, nothing shows up. I can move very slow and see how they are sort of triggered and initially placed. You might also notice there's a little bit of an offset in place where the logos show up to the right of the mouse. This gives a very interesting effect that when I'm moving fast to the right, it's almost as if I'm pushing them to the right. And as I go to the left, it's almost as if I'm pulling because they're sort of following at a distance. So there was quite a bit to take in here and I gave it my best to try to recreate it. So to make things easy, I just slammed some divs with some letters in them and I created this sort of round one effect, okay? Where you can clearly see that we are cycling through those characters as the mouse moves, all right? When I run out of characters, we pull the last character from the end and put it in front, all right? And if we go over to our JavaScript, you'll see I have this tolerance value here, all right? That's how far I have to move the mouse until the next character pops up, okay? And right now at 20 pixels, it's pretty much a short distance. Now, if I change this over to something like 80, you'll see now that we can see pretty much all of the letters that we are leaving behind, all right? And we get this sort of a spacing, all right? Again, you can play with that number as much as you want. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the code here, but I do wanna show you that the offset position is being handled with the X percent of 50 right here. That just slides it over to the right of the mouse a little bit, okay? If these were set to zero and zero, you would see that the top left-hand corner of the new characters is right, boom, where the mouse was, okay? so. You can play with that as much as you like. And pretty much the secret sauce to getting the letters to cycle through is that in this animate next follower function here, I'm deciding the next follower to use based on incrementing an index that I'm keeping track of and performing a modulo operation on the number of followers, which keeps all my index values within the range of the amount of followers I have in my array and this gsap.set is just pretty much putting each one where the mouse was when we exceeded our tolerance that we're measuring right here, okay? So again, not a full tutorial on mouse followers, and quite frankly, I'm not even sure this is the best way to go about it, because after getting to this stage here, I came up with this version here. You'll notice that we do have a little bit of that inertia going on, and the characters are dropping off nicely after a short amount of time. You'll see as I move slowly, there's a little bit of this sort of following action going on, but admittedly, it's not the same as what Rebellion has done, all right? And it was getting frustrating that I didn't really quite crack the code. So I'm leaving you my sort of starter version. If anybody here wants to sort of take a stab at it, I'd love to see what you come up with. On its own, I like this version and think it's good, but again, it's not as close to the original as I would like. So. I'm throwing this out to the community, see if anybody wants to take on the challenge. Hats off to everybody at Rebellion for coming up with an amazing mouse follower.